Good afternoon, this is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group. We are talking energies and oil. Prices surprisingly go down. Uh, we saw a 5% decline in oil prices going back to late last week. Obviously, we were, we've had a very short vacation north of $50. It looked like we were gonna break out the party hats, talking about $60 oil, talking about the rebalancing working and OPEC having done its job. And well, today we're not. Today we see it nudge back up to that 50 day moving average right below $49.5. And that kind of is where we're sitting and waiting. It seems to me that we, we, we had, a, had kind of a, maybe a little bit of preemptive excitement over oil prices. We aren't, we aren't totally off yet, but right now it just seems a little bit of short term pullback. Obviously, supply, we got some supply numbers. Supply levels were up, U.S. exports were up maybe not expected to be up so quickly. And I think that right now with, with, with oil being oil exports, U.S. oil exports meeting demand, uh, seems to be uh, maybe a, a reason for why we're seeing uh, oil prices decline so quickly. And if you look at demand, we're hitting that seasonal point where we end the summer and we end the fall, and, and we start to see that, that cyclical seasonal demand decline, uh, that will have a negative effect on oil and likely could push us back to the 100-day moving average, which is about a buck lower than we are now. So look for us to get probably somewhere between 48, 48 and a half before the dust settles. Likewise, I think that right now OPEC's meeting at the end of uh, in November is going to be key. Are they going to extend those cut production cuts? Are they going to even talk about extending them or are they just going to let them kind of run their course? Because right now they want to see oil back above 50. We did get there, but we didn't hold it for very long and it didn't take very much to push us back lower. So right now oil kind of in a mixed trade. We'll have to wait and see uh, when we get more. We get more uh, supply data. We get more data over the next couple of weeks that will um, that will tell the real tale. But that trade above 50 was very short lived. I think we find some support here in the short term, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.